Welcome to a sleepy small town in the hills of southern Mexico, a place where donkeys graze in cornfields, and good people like Grandpa Chano and Grandma Imelda invite you in to show you the rural Oaxacan way of life. In this episode of Grandma's Cooking, Grandma Imelda is going to teach us how to transform corn dough, tomatoes, and chiles into delicious mamelas, a delightfully fluffy cousin of the tostada. My name is Eric Kennan. And I'm on a mission to learn to make amazing Mexican food. Not surprisingly, the best chefs in Mexico are Mexican grandmothers. Come with me as these grandma chefs teach us authentic recipes that we can make at home. We'll eat a lot of great food, and we'll have a lot of adventures too. When I got to Grandma Imelda's kitchen, she was already grilling the salsa ingredients. In Mexico, the tomatoes and chiles are almost always grilled or boiled before they are blended into a salsa. The chemical reactions brought on by the intense heat give a depth of flavor, especially to the chiles. Note that Grandma Imelda took off the chiles and the garlic first because the tomatoes need a little bit longer to cook. So right now I'm taking the peels off the tomatoes so that we can crush all this together into a really nice salsa that we're going to put on top of the mamelas. Y se, se incluye esta parte muy asada para sabor o no? No, para, no porque esto ya está, ya se considera desechable. Okay. Así. ¿Y hay una gran diferencia en sabor entre hervir y asar? Así es, sí, porque el, el derecho de hervirlo pues ya se le extrae más el jugo al tomate mm. y aquí nada más es al, al calor. Entonces, wow. Está pesadito, eh? Super pesadito. Sí, pesadito. Bueno. Sí, ahora sí. Now most of you will be using a blender, but Grandma Imelda wanted to show us the traditional way to make salsa. Up until the 20th century, this was the way you did it. Some Mexicans in the countryside still prefer the taste of a salsa made on a metate. They often complain that salsa made in a blender isn't chunky enough. Es la primera ocasión que maneja sí. el sí. metate. Sí, sí, la primera vez. Ah. ¿Y usted por qué es importante todo el día poner tiempo y paciencia en la comida? Por el hecho de que los sabores son más agradables al paladar. Uh -huh. Es cierto. Sí. Y ya con este, haciendo microondas, con la olla express, con todo lo que en la actualidad se usa a lo moderno, pues ya cambia. cambia es cierto. El sabor, sí. Se puede ver. In the United States, there's been a slow food movement, a departure from fast food. But here in the mountains of Oaxaca, there's no need to return to slow food. The food has always been slow. Grandpa Chano grows the corn and takes the kernels off the cob so that Grandma Imelda can boil it on an open fire, mill the corn into dough, and then press tortillas for dinner. You won't find any plastic bags full of tin, lifeless tortillas around here. All tortillas are made from scratch, with love. ¿Y usted tenía siete hijos? Así fue. Ahora no ¿Siempre más. tenías bastante tiempo para...? Pues no, no mucho, pero así lo hacíamos. Todavía. Si, no, ¿Nunca porque... usaste como micro una...? No, no, no lo he usado. Porque hay muchas personas en los Estados Unidos que tienen un hijo o dos hijos y ya dicen que no tienen bastante tiempo para cocinar. Pues... ¿Qué dirías a ellos? Ah, sí. Pues todo, pues todo ahora se compra enlatado, embutidos. Uh -huh. Pero yo no lo veo recomendable en lo especial, ¿no? I loved how chunky the salsa turned out. Now, folks at home, don't forget to add salt to taste. You can add cilantro, too, if you would like. We added some raw onion. All right, let's see if we got enough salt, enough onion. We've got two chili peppers, two cloves of garlic, and about five or six tomatoes. Let's check this out. I've never had salsa quite like this before, and I sure as heck haven't used a giant metate anywhere in the United States. Have you? Look at this view from Grandma's kitchen. I saw a hawk flying by as we were cooking. If you're visiting Mexico, make sure to get out of the big city so you can get to know small town life. Now watch carefully as Grandma Imelda makes a tortilla out of a ball of corn dough. To make fresh tortillas at home, pick up a bag of this corn flour at your grocery store. 
I will make another episode for you guys all about mixing masa or corn dough. Don't worry, you don't need a metate. All you need is water and a mixing bowl. And the plastic binder sheet, apparently. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit of time. Like, about 45 minutes, uh, 45 seconds. Something like that. Look, there it is. And then it was my turn. It seems like the thickness is really important here. So use this part of your hand, not necessarily the palm, but this, this flattens it out even better. Okay. Check that out. She says it's pretty good. Not quite the expert yet, but this is my first one. I think they'll keep getting better. I'm going to put it right over here next to its friends. And just about 45 seconds or a minute for each side. But that's on this really hot comal. If you're at home, she said you can use a Teflon, Teflon frying pan and put it on a low heat, otherwise it'll burn. I think it's ready. Okay, perfect. And on this side, it feels great. It feels like I cooked it just right. So come on in close, we're gonna make that little castle that we talked about. You make like a little ring here while the masa is still warm. So that way the beans and the salsa don't escape. Woo, it's still hot, I'm working with it. And then, so she made like an outer ring, and then she even made like another inner ring here. I'm only hoping that mine turn out as well as grandma's do. Look at that, that turned out, look, I've got like a pretty thick castle right here. We've got a moat around the edge, an inner defense. I'm excited to put some beans and salsa in here. Now in Mexico, they often use lard or pig fat on top of the mamelas for extra flavor. I decided to go with vegetable oil, so it'd be a little bit healthier. If you make these from scratch, or if you make the masa, and we're going to do another episode about that, getting the, the masa mixture just right, you can get a bag of masa, which is the corn cornmeal, you can get a bag of this at your grocery store. No problem, it's in any, any Hispanic food section. So, Now the last step to making an authentic mamela is to put some dry salty cheese on top, what the Mexicans call queso ranchero. Finally, Grandma put on some loving dabs of that salsa we made with the metate. Now remember, you made your salsa in the blender, but it still goes on top and makes these mamelas delicious. Try not to blend the salsa too much. It's better when it's chunky. So here we have a mamela. It's ready to go. <laughs> and it's so funny that we used a little bit of pork fat, and now we're serving it on top of a little pork uh, cutting board right here. The irony. But we're going to try this right now. I'm really excited. The, the part I'm most excited about is the masa, what well, we would call a tortilla. But it's really thick, it's really soft, and uh, we made it here on the metate into a ball. I think that's going to be the best part. Let's find out which is the best part. Mmm, so fluffy. It's so delicious. We've got a layer of masa, we've got beans, we've got cheese, we've got salsa. So this is vegetarian if you don't count the pork fat. I could eat these every single day of the week. All right, let's make a few more so that everyone else here in the family can eat. Hemos hecho unos mamelas para ustedes. Gracias, qué rico, exquisito. Muy rica las mamelas. Sí, me encantan. Y más cuando se hace la mamá para el hijo, ¿no? Sí. Es una relación, una sí. relación muy... Nos dijo muy que hay que hacerlo con cariño, amor, con amor. Con amor. Sí, 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 sí. Algún día cuando yo sea un abuelo voy a hacer mamelas para mis hijos. Nietos. Ah, bueno, bravo. Y ya está pensando en tus nietos. Qué bien, qué buena idea. Pero primero tengo que tener hijos. Es el primer paso. Primero mi esposa. Exactamente. Ya está. So here we are eating mamelas with the family. Everyone's, everyone's making one just how they like it. And this is officially a Sunday afternoon in Oaxaca, Mexico. Wish you were here, but I know you can make these at home and enjoy. Awesome.